Hey Pisces, it's Teresa with One Love, One Light. Welcome to your reading. So let's get started with a Work Your Light Oracle. What, Holy Spirit, what do we have for Pisces? We have Pleiades, double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. So that is a lot of pressure. I feel like there is... Um, a spiritual gift that you have been given that um, is breaking through right now. Like it's going to be coming through stronger. It's going to be more advanced than it has been. And this might be quite suddenly, actually. So let's see what else. Some of you may be star seeds. You may identify as a star seed. All right, we have, you are here for a reason. I mean, it doesn't get no plainer than that, that these two are connected, double mission. You are here for a reason. And I feel like that's your life purpose and you either are aware of it or you are seeking it at this moment. Okay, we also have ask for guidance. So there's nothing that says you had to come here and know exactly what to do, when to do it, how to do it. So I feel like, you really need to ask your spiritual team, God, the angels, Holy Spirit for guidance. So that's what we're here to do today. All right, so let's go ahead and clarify these. Just quick shuffle. All right, why is this you are here for a reason? We have the Eight of Pentacles doing the work. There's work. You have a mission and you are doing the work already. We have the Six of Cups. So this is something that you signed up for. This could have to do with your soulmate. This could have to do with past lives. And then we have the Four of Wands. So I feel like you're, you're getting close to the finish line as far as um, a particular mission that's going to catapult you to higher realms it's going to um, enlighten you even further that's what i'm getting with that four of wands it'll be a cause for celebration in the heavens why is this pleiades card here and we have the ace of cups so this is about um uplifting yourself uplifting those around you this is really an emotional um upgrade that will be happening when the, with this breakthrough energy and we have the Three of Swords healing. So I feel like, oh, I feel like, you know, just because you're on this mission, just because you may identify as a star seed does not mean that the human experience doesn't cause you pain. So this is all about your also your healing, but then sharing that with others, sharing how you came across healing or how you work through your own pain and was able to get past this pain this human pain yeah it has to do with a relationship that two of cups right there on top of that so it's like not only has it affected your love for yourself but it's affected this affected relationships moving forward all right so what's this ask for guidance and we have the queen of swords the queen of swords does not head out on a mission without knowing exactly where she's going. She's very clear. She's moving forward, but she does ask for guidance because she's going to be 100% sure before she moves forward on something. And we have the moon. So I feel like there are things that are happening behind the scenes that you're not aware of. I also think that this is you asking for guidance on how to work through your fears of certain situations. What else do we have? Yeah, we have this nine of swords. I definitely see this fear. I feel like there's ask for guidance on how to clear your mind and heal this heart. That's how you're going to be able to uplift humanity and channel. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Cups. So I feel like this is uplifting humanity by living your best life. So this is the guidance where you're going to be asking, you know, for how to maintain clear thoughts, how to heal, how to let go of previous past um, instances and things that 
are are something you've been carrying through all of this, even though you've been doing the work. All right, let's get a guardian angel card for guidance. What guidance do we have for Pisces? And we have compassion. Dearest one, be compassionate towards yourself. Surrender the self-criticism and fear that has you believing you need to improve in order to be worthy. You are perfect just as you are. The only thing that needs to change is your perception. You will come to realize the jewel you are when you love and honor yourself as you are. Absolutely beautiful. I love it. Those are the messages that came through for you quick and easy. Well, not so easy, but I feel like this is definitely something where you can um, take this message and really expand on it by meditating and connecting with your spiritual team. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And remember, the universe has your back and so do I. Take care.